Hello, this is Randall Lloyd. Welcome to another in my series of Supersuit Tips and Tricks. Today we'll be using the basic bodysuit that comes in the Supersuit bundles. And uh, this will be an advanced workflow. You'll need to have the content creation tools that are available as a part of the Daz Studio Pro bundle, or you can buy them separately and add them to some of the other versions of Studio. Um, the reason why we're doing this video today is to help overcome one of the problems with the, the basic bodysuit, which is there are overlapping UV zones that make this uh, difficult to texture. So let's see what we can do to fix it real quick. I'll be moving pretty quick because this is already going to be a long video. So just bear with me and follow along as best you can. Let's start off by making this a little easier on ourselves so we can see what we're doing. We're going to switch to the wire shaded mode and I just have the basic suit loaded and not Genesis or anything else. <clears throat> Next I'm going to change the suit to low resolution so that we don't have so many uh, polygons to look at. And You do that under uh, parameters resolution here and change it to base. There we go. And Then we're going to open up another viewport. And under viewports here under window you can change have as many of these as you like. But in this second one we're going to look at the UV. And if you drag down here, UV view. And then by using the surfaces uh, tab and the surface selection tool here, we can, you can click and, and the UV will display. That's pretty useful. Now the first thing we're going to notice here is that there are a couple of problems with this suit. Uh, and one is that it doesn't follow the normal naming conventions of these zones. For example, if you look over here, each one of these has a prefix and normally when when that's the case each one of these numbers would indicate a separate map and that works fine all the way down to hands uh, all those would be great to be on one map but then as soon as you add the next one neckline you can see that there's some overlap so we're going to be fixing that today and also we're going to be fixing this situation when I click on torso you'll see that this one zone has has overlaps in it and we need to fix that as well. So let's start off by doing some renaming shall we? Uh, we've already seen that uh, from arms one down to hands that's a valid map and that's already got a prefix of one so we're going to leave it that way and at the bottom here from uh, knees all the way down to thighs two that's a valid map. So we're going to leave that as number two. The ones that we have a problem with are these here in the middle from neckline to feet and we're going to be renaming all of these to put a three in front all right and we're going to do that first by grabbing the uh, polygon group editor tool and then we're going to be using the tool settings tab now uh, in the tool settings tab here we're going to do a couple things first of all we're going to drag this over so we can read them all and then we're going to uh, collapse face groups here because we're not going to be using face groups we're going to be using surfaces all right so in in this uh, window you can see the ones over here we have selected and I'm just going to go through each one of these and put a three just edit the name and make it three and uh, I'll put the video on pause here real quick while I do this and I'll be back in a second okay there we are you see I've done that now now we have all of those that we looked at now have a three in front indicating that they're going to be on a different map. Okay, now let's, let's, uh, feet doesn't have anything we need to mess around with, <clears throat> nor does neckline. We actually start with shorts, torso, waist, and waist. Now I know waist and waist don't look like they've given us a problem, but if you select them and put them all in there, they do have some overlap. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to fix that too. Let's start off with the torso. And I'm going to color torso a different color. We'll make it red. I'll color waist one a purple, a pink rather. Waist two, we'll make a purple. And shorts, we will make a blue. Those can be any colors you want. Uh, it's just there to make it a little easier on us to see. Do not make them a yellow color because you won't be able to see your selections. All right, let's start off with torso. All right, let's zoom in here real quick. Uh, we'll frame, we'll frame in, and we'll select the Polygon Group Editor tool. 
one of the first things we have to do is we have to identify a landmark on this mesh that will allow us to find the edge. And uh, just before we do that, let's go over here to Tool Settings and make sure you have Symmetry turned on here at the top. And as I see, I have a little triangle shape. And if I count over three, one, two, three, there's the edge. Now make sure if you right click that you're on the lasso, the drag selection rather. And you can, do, on a Mac, you can click and drag. And if you let go, you can still click and drag. On a PC, if you try that, you're going to lose your selection. You have to make sure you hold down the control key to add to your selection on a PC. All right. You can remove from your selection by clicking Alt and holding down uh, on a PC. Now on a Mac, it doesn't work that way out of the box. It's a, it's a little conflict in the way the keys are set up from Mac to PC. And you can fix that for yourself uh, by going under Window, Workspace, Customize, or by hitting F3. And when you do that, this comes up. Now I've already fixed mine, so this doesn't look like yours will look. Uh, but the one that conflicts is Orbit. And all I did is I double clicked on Orbit and I held down the Option and Command key and clicked in the window and uh, changed that. And then I went to Polygon Group Editor and moved it to Remove Selection and I double clicked in this window, held down Alt and clicked with my left key, left mouse button, and there it goes. And hit Apply and Accept and then you'll be able to deselect by holding down the Alt. Okay. All right, now with, with symmetry enabled, you can see I've got both sides there. Um, I've already found the top, and I know where it is. It's right here. Uh, you can locate that on your own. And so now I've got that whole section lined out. And uh, I'm going to show you a little trick. With this particular selection we're trying to make, it's pretty easy. Some selections it's not good for. For example, the, um, the shorts aren't going to be good to do like this. But here's one trick for you. Some of these camera views uh, are orthogonal, which means they don't have any distortion from perspective. And if we go to the right view, we can use our lasso tool to speed things up a little bit. Now the rectangle selection and the lasso selection tools will select everything all the way through the mesh from front to back. So you won't want to use that in a normal case because you'll get polygons you don't want. But in this case, using the uh, right view, it's what I want. So I'm going to come in here and, and with a lasso, I'm going to stay inside that highlighted section I made and make a selection. And I'll come up here and do the same thing. Now don't worry too much about it. If you do end up getting some polygons you didn't want, uh, it's easy to fix. And I'm going to cover that very quickly right here. Um, go back to our camera. I see there's a couple in there we didn't get. And you can single click even with the uh, lasso tool selected in it, and it won't get anything from the front. Just got to double check that. Okay, now if you if I accidentally, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it on purpose, if I accidentally get some in zones I didn't want, let me show you how easy this is to fix. Back under the tool settings tab, and we need to keep collapsing this face groups. But if you go here, we have a couple of columns with the plus and the minus. That's add and subtract to your selection. So if you look here where we have a highlighted uh, minus symbol there, that means that there are some polygons selected in that group. And we don't want them. So if you click on the minus, they'll be deselected. And we only wanted torso with anything selected so we can get rid of the ones in the shorts and the neckline. And a quick scan of that column will, will tell me that I got them all and I only have uh, torso polygons selected. So there we are. There we go, we have the complete section uh, here. And if I right click in the window under Polygon Assignment this time, we're going to come down to Create Surface from Selected. Oh, let me hit Cancel real quick. We want to make sure we have the Surfaces tab open. Let's try that again. Polygon Assignment, Create Surface from Selected. Now we're going to use the same naming convention that we've already established here. And we're going to put all of these new uh, sections in section 4. All right. So let me type a 4 underscore torso back because that is similar to what we've got. And look there, it's already gone. It, it moved on. It's in this new section now. So there it is. Now using this same technique, I'm going to move down here. First of all, let's right click and under polygon selection, clear selection. That's important because you don't want to have that messing you up. 
um, I'm going to come down here and continue that line because I noticed earlier looking at the UV that that, that edge loop went all the way down. So I'm going to uh, start selecting in here and I'm going to go back to my drag selection tool. And there we go. Let's do it for this one. Create surface from selected. We'll call this one four. Oops. Four underscore waste one back. There you go. All right, I'm going to put the video on pause real quick while I do waste number two and uh, shorts number two in the back. And I'll come back to you in just a second and show you how that turned out. All right, I just finished up making my selection for the shorts and I've already done waste number two. And as you can see, I had to find where that, that crotch seam was and I, and I did that pretty easily. Right click, polygon assignment, create surface from selected, and this is my last one, four underscore shorts back. All right, well there we go, that's all finished. close some of these windows and we can remove um, the UV view but before we do let's let's check and see what we've got here so now we have section 4 looking good in the neighborhood and section 3 uh oh section 3 has got a problem uh, we forgot the neckline here neckline should also be in section 4 so let's uh, run over here to our tool settings and, and fix that uh, there's neckline I'll change that to number four as well. So let's try that again. There we go. Neckline looks good. Section four looks good. Section three looks good. Section two looks good. And section one looks good. So that's all fixed. All right, now I'm going to tell you how to save this. And before we do, let's uh, color each one of these sections a different different color, all right? Let's make, uh, let's make the arms a green. Let's make section two uh, an orange color. Make section three a bright blue. And let's make the last section, the back, a red color. You don't have to do that. I'm just kind of having fun with it. All right, that's going to let me know that this is the bodysuit that was fixed. Okay, so let's close this all up. Let me revert back. You don't have to revert, but I want to. All right, so now I'm going to save this so I'll be able to use it again, 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 and again in the future. And you do that by coming under here. Make sure the suit is selected and under file save as we're going to save as a support asset figure prop asset and when that comes up you're going to want to put it uh, I, I recommend you put it in the super suit directory where the basic suit was and I'm just going to click on basic suit and then I'm going to rename this up here uh, basic suit fixed and hit enter then you'll get this dialog box and under here, under item name, let's put fixed. And then I'm going to leave everything else exactly the same because it's picking up those settings from what was originally on, on the clothing item. And I'm going to hit accept. And there we go. Once that's done, we'll, run, we'll jump into our content library. And in the super suit directory, you'll see right there we have basic suit fixed. And that's that. The one thing I have to tell you though, let's let's get Genesis back in here and I'm going to delete this suit. All right. Now when I load in the basic body suit, you're going to find something is wrong. And there's the basic suit loaded, the, the original basic suit. But when I click on the material zones, you see, uh oh, did we screw up our basic suit? No, uh, Dash Studio is just remembering in its cache or in its buffer, whatever, it's remembering that you changed that. To, to get that reset completely, you have to uh, stop, close Studio, and then restart Studio. 
and then uh, it'll all be you'll be able to load in your new adjusted suit uh, like normal and everything will be fine well there you go I hope you like these videos if you do make sure you click like for them and also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share with your friends I will meet you back here uh, with another tip or trick very soon take care